Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a loop animation. And that means that this animation will end where it started. A loop is where it just goes on and on and on forever. Uh, in other words, it starts and it ends right where it starts. And it just starts up again and again and again and again. That's why I call it a loop animation. And so um, we've used this background for another project, the Parallax Effect project. And we're going to take this project and loop the background as I've done here. Um, and it's just going on and on and on. And you can see that when it ends at frame 100, it'll just go back and you, you'll never see the cut. It just goes on and on. Again, a loop is where an animation just goes on forever. It just ends where it starts and it starts where it ends and there's it's seamless. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. For some reason, the frame rate is horrible and I'm not exactly sure if it's because of the PNGs or what. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and open up that original parallax uh, animation that we did here it is I'm gonna close this window uh, and here's that parallax animation um, where we move the different elements of the background I've got a video on this if you'd like to go ahead and check that out all right cool let me go ahead and pause this and let's get started for once, we don't need all the elements, so I'm gonna turn off these, uh, the guy, the rider. I'm gonna turn off the road. We are gonna use the sky. We're gonna use the, uh, maybe not the bushes. And we're gonna use the trees, the foreground, the background, and the sky. I am gonna turn on, go here to the uh, filter and turn on selectable that way we can lock uh, the sky after the sky i'm not going to animate the sky so i want to get rid of this last keyframe here delete keyframe so that way the sky doesn't get animated uh, the only thing i'm going to animate is the buildings and the trees the trees and the buildings are going to be loopable uh, repeat it so um, let's start by hiding the trees and let's start with the buildings now the buildings oh first of all first of all I'd like to get rid of this uh, on both let me get rid of this end keyframe on both so the building delete keyframe and the trees There's the trees, and let's get rid of this keyframe. Delete keyframe. So right now, nothing is animated. If I move this playhead, um, nothing gets animated. So I'm gonna go to frame one, uh, and I'd like to bring down these two things, um, just so that I can cover the bottom here. Let me bring the sky, I mean, not the sky, I'm sorry, the buildings down. And the sky actually move it back up all right so we're cool our setup is complete now what do we need to make something loopable uh, that's something this element for example let's make the buildings loopable first I'm gonna hide the trees and I've got my buildings and these buildings have been repeated but um, they're not repeated enough for me to do it. So what I'd like to do, I'm gonna go ahead and lock the sky. Select the buildings and go ahead and make a duplicate. Just shift D on the X and then move it so that it's um, repeated. And I'm not, I could extend it all the way out here, but I'm just going to there 
just put it right on top of the old one so that I know it's repeated one more time. Now, I'm gonna take both of them and find a position that I can start on. So if I go here to this corner, I'm gonna move it right to the corner of that building. That's where it's going to start. This building, which is this building. And uh, at frame one, and I have auto keyframe turned on. Remember that this button would automatically create a keyframe. So at frame one, this is where we're going to start, right there. This uh, purplish looking building is right there. And it loops, it just, um, it just repeats itself. So at frame 100, I'm gonna move my playhead over to 100 and move this exactly to where I started. Now, I am going to probably have to move it back a bit uh, because if I leave it right there, the exact same spot that we started, it might skip one frame. This one frame is exactly the same as the, as the um, last frame. So it might have a little bit of a skip. Noticeable. And so I might move it back just a little bit so that there is no skip right there. See that? So from here to here, it'll continue moving forward. So if we play, if we go ahead and hit play, remember this building, and then it starts, boom, right there. Now, you notice that it stopped. It doesn't look loopable. It really doesn't because both of these objects have an ease in and ease out effect, uh, which is what we want normally, not on this one. I'm gonna split the screen and reveal a graph editor. And I'm going to select this one. And I can see that the X, the, the X location which is this one, I'm gonna hide all of them and then only reveal the X location. And you can see that ease in and ease out. That means it accelerates and then decelerates. And I'm gonna right click on it and interpolation mode, go to linear, constant. Do the same for this one. Get that X location and then right click and go linear so we get a constant speed and let's see if that is a little bit better and you can see that it kind of goes back a little bit and I'm not sure Oh, because we got rid of, because we got rid of, we need to modify these a little bit. Push this right touching, and then at frame 100, move them back. Now let's see it. coming up right here boom and it starts and there is no jump now and you might have to adjust your animation because we adjusted that ease in and ease out uh, and we created this linear constant pace and now you see this this is the building and it doesn't skip a beat it just goes on and on and so this is loopable now. Uh, and let's get those trees done. I'm gonna stop it here. And it's basically the same deal again. I'm gonna turn on the trees. Let's move over to frame one. 
<clears throat> let's go ahead and get these uh, trees started. I'm going to push this uh, to a good starting position, maybe to right there where it uh, touches, just barely touches the edge on this, uh, on these leaves right there. And I am going to duplicate it. Shift D to duplicate X. And then I am going to duplicate it uh, maybe to that tree right there. Right there. Let's look at it. This tree is right on top of the old one. So we're going to leave it there. And we're going to animate now. We're going to animate it. Uh, let's see. At frame one, they're both there. They have no animation. And let's go to 100. And let's move them. Move them in the X right up to that bush right there. And then maybe just a little bit behind so that it doesn't skip that beat. And so um, looking at looking at the graph editor, I am going to right click and linear. And it actually got both trees at the same time. So if I look at this, it's linear. If I look at these, it's linear. So let's look at it, uh, hit play. And it should right there. Let's look at it again. Right there it went. So now we have a loopable animation, guys. It's not that hard. It's just a little tricky getting that first frame to be, or that last frame to be almost exactly one frame ahead of the first frame. I'm going to go ahead and close the graph editor and look at this. Uh, again, my frame rate, my playback frame rate is uh, pretty bad. <laughs> but, you know, um, you get the gist. So here it is playing. You can see the buildings. Uh, it was um, this purple building. And... Boom, it, it loops, not a problem. And on the trees, it was this set of leaves. And it's going, 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 going. And right there it loops, not a big deal. This is a loopable background image. And that's how you get it done, guys. I hope that this video, this tutorial was helpful to you guys. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. I would appreciate it. And subscribe. I also would appreciate you subscribing. Hey guys, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.